Oh guys, so today we about the Blu-ray sales, and this is just quite hilarious. This whole, this is just quite hilarious. Okay, Disney continue. This this Disney just continues to do horribly on the Blu-ray market. Again, people say you know oh, Disney Plus, blah blah blah, but no one's buying Soul on Disney on not on Disney Plus on Blu-ray. No one cares about Disney on Blu-ray. It just seems that most people have abandoned Disney on the physical market. After Disney's treatment of the physical move media market, you know, it is good that people are not buying Disney movies. Which is probably why Disney's not going to put like the Marvel movies and stuff. Marvel TV shows and Star Wars shows. Because they know nobody cares about Disney anymore. Majority of normal people. Outside of Disney fanboys. Don't care about Disney that much anymore. And know what Disney has been doing. To the movie industry. And people don't like it. That's why you see Disney movies after Disney movie. Flop after flop after flop. Or underperformance after underperformance after underperformance. Disney making sequels to movies that are practically losing money, like Cruella and Jungle Cruise, Cruise, and just this year, with the exception of Sing C and the Resident Evil 7 Ten Rings, Disney has not had a single win this year. Even movie like Black Widow underperformed in the fears. Yes, it did make money through Disney Plus, but Disney shouldn't have to make money through a streaming service to make for a Marvel movie. V. Yeah, the movie didn't flop, but Disney shouldn't have to make money for a streaming service. Again, to make money on a movie. It's just Disney has not had a single win besides Sing C this year. And the real tests are going to be at Santo and the Eternals. Those are the next two huge Disney movies. Oh yeah, I also forgot they released Free Guy as well, but, you know, I keep forgetting that Disney owned that movie, owns Fox now, but... You know, which Free Guy ironically has been the only win Disney has had with a Fox release so far. Which is the most hilarious thing in the world, considering that Disney bought Fox for 7 bil <laughs> billion, basically. And they haven't had a single win in the box office with the exception of Free Guy, essentially. We, But yeah, here is the current weekend for the box office. And... What's with Soul and Wonder Woman 1984? Both movies are released on the same day, Christmas, and these are the current sales for Wonder Woman 1984. 1.115 million copies sold. Of $27 million spent on the movie on Blu ray and DVD. Soul, which is considered a masterpiece, especially by Pixar fanboys, only 9 million total spending and 466,000. Wonder Woman is also selling three times the amount of sales Soul has to sold. And it's just all powerful the course for Disney's failures. Mulan is nowhere to be seen either. Mulan, the remake, is nowhere to be seen either. Not neither is Tenant either, but a lot of new releases did come out. Okay? But this is just the most hilarious and big fail of Disney. Okay? Soul is not really selling too well on Blu-ray. And there isn't really any movies. And there really hasn't been many major movies. Usually there's usually like one or two big movies coming out every week on Blu-ray. But Soul? You can forget about that. Soul? No one cares. And also they don't really update the Blu-ray sales after like a certain time or something. But this is the top selling movies of the year. The only Disney movies that are on this list is Mulan and Soul. And no one's buying Mulan anymore. And Soul is on its way out. Just like Mulan. Just like Onward is. All we have to do is go back to 2020. The spot, 2020. With the exception of Frozen 2. Which had abysmal rigs. Rigs. Despite having a massive opening. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is the only Disney release. That had decent enough rigs in Call of the Wild. Wild. And Onward, one of the, the Pixar release that released on Blu-ray of 2020, did not even make the top 20. And 
if it wasn't for the pandemic, Onward will probably not even made the top 30. That can tell you something about Disney. That can tell you something about people's approval of Disney. People's approval of the Disney Corporation. People don't like Disney anymore. I know. It's hard fact for Disney fanboys to swallow. It's a hard fact for Disney fans to swallow. But the fact that two of the most hated movies of last year, Wonder Woman 1984 and Monster Hunter, the outsold one of the most critically acclaimed and one of the most beloved movies of last year, can really tell you something about Disney. Can really tell you something about Disney. The fact that Monster Hunter outsold Soul. The fact that Monster Hunter, one of the most hated and despised movies of the year, outsold Soul. Outsold Disney. Okay? The same thing can apply with movies like, you know, Tenet is probably going to outpass Soul at the end of the year. Once Black Friday comes around, News of the World is probably going to outsell Soul. Okay? And... I can't wait till when Godzilla vs. Kong comes out. Black, when they start reporting like Black Widow's numbers, Godzilla's numbers, because Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry's going to probably outsell Soul as well, which would be completely hilarious to see. But, you know, because a lot of people usually buy the Blu-rays either at Best Buy or Amazon. And, <laughs> and Disney movies are not exactly flying off the shelves on Amazon. They're not flying off the shelves on Best Buy, unless it's a steelbook version of the movie. I wouldn't exp- I I didn't I wouldn't be surprised if Cruella flops. Black Widow will probably sell two million copies on Blu-ray, Ray, Ray. But <laughs> Disney, it's just a complete joke. Disney is just a complete joke nowadays. No wonder why. And you look at the photo down the list. There are very little Disney movies on this list besides Cows. That's it. Monster Inc. Old Disney, like very old Disney movies. These. You know. So, yep, there we go about the top selling video titles in the United States. Of course, it's just the United States sales. This is not worldwide, essentially. And yeah, Blu ray has, uh, has declined over the past years. Wonder Woman 1984 didn't really sell all too well, but again, this is a this is a movie that has been very poorly received, and it's still outselling Disney. Okay, it's still outselling Disney. I would, and I wouldn't be surprised if the movie had good rigs throughout the whole year, which would be which is be which is just completely hilarious that Wonder Woman 1984 is doing better than Soul, a movie that has been considered to be a masterpiece by most Disney fanboys. And another thought that they have is the DIJ Watch the Home Thoughts. Was this for streaming? And we could go down here. Where's Disney? Where the hell is Disney? Okay. It's nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. I wonder if the Queen I wonder the Queen Snack Snyder does as vegan here as well, but you know, or as a separate one. But I won't be surprised Stack Size doesn't speak out sales Disney movies. But there's no Disney movies here. None at all. With the exception of Free Guy, because of course they are owned by, of course, because you know Disney bought Fox. There is no Disney movies here. No Disney branded movies at all. Okay? But Disney's competition is here, Boss Baby Family Business. This. But where's Ruka? Where's Ruka? Ruka apparently had a huge following. Okay? And at least on Digital HD on August. Okay? But the Boss Baby is on here. Yeah. 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 Papa told the movies on here. Spirit Untamed. Okay? Spider-Man Far From Home is on here. Uh, Suicide Squad's on here. Yeah, they're calling Snack Snyder Justice League of Justice League. That's what they're doing. Now I know. <laughs> they're considering that. 
They're adding Snack Slides, that's just Vigo, that's Vigo. Okay, what does though? Space Salmon New Legacy is doing that better. <laughs> it's doing better at this point than Ruka. Peter Rabbit. It's Boss Baby. Space Sam is doing better than Ruka. Oh, here's Ruka. It's at number 10 at this start. But the fact that nobody cares about Ruka. It's another flaw. It's another failure for Pixar. Okay. The fact that they're going back to the trying to do the old tricks of, you know, reusing old IPs. Can really sell you the state of Disney and Pixar. The state of the Disney company at this point. The fact that Disney Plus subscriptions are not, are not even, that they're not even really gaining in America anymore can really sell you the state of Disney. Disney's supposed to be the most powerful brand in the world, but they're still losing. They have been, they haven't won, they haven't gotten a single win since the beginning of 2020, with the exception of Sang C's success and Free Guy's success. Success. The fact that we have to guess if the movies are successful or not because of the Iron Curtain of Disney Plus can really tell you everything to know about modern day Disney. Goodbye.